And make sure you stick around because coming up, we are giving you a taste of the tropics, veggie style. We are having a Hawaiian luau right here in the Sac and Coast studios. It's going to be nummy. Stick around. And speaking of traveling to Ironstone, what if traveling this summer is out of the picture? You want to have a staycation, right? But why not create an island getaway in your own backyard? So we are here with clinical exercise physiologist. We have the lovely Karen Owak. She's here to show us how to throw a Hawaiian luau with a vegetarian twist. And such an amazing ambiance here of the tropics. I was just telling you, Karen, how relaxed I feel. But how do we create something like this here in Sacramento? Well, first, a <gasps> to you, my friend. Well, the key is, what I learned from my family is that you try to uh, engage all of the senses. So okay. the presentation, the sights, the smells, and the music. Too. And yeah. the music. Yes. You've got to have the music, right? Because you have to have the full ambiance. Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay, this is nice. This is very nice. I was already relaxed before, but now I'm really super relaxed. Okay, so I would love to talk about some of the things that we would enjoy at a luau, right? Right. So the, the typical dish that you will find is poke. Okay. Poke is a, a classic native dish made with raw fish, but I have a vegetarian version. Okay. And it's made with tofu, mango, avocado, Ooh. and a little bit of wakame that is a seaweed. So okay. that imparts part of that sea flavor. Okay. Uh, and then also the macadamia. I was going to say, I see macadamians, which yes. are, you know, very popular yes. in Hawaii. Yeah. Yes. And they, they make a great little topping to top off your poke, and then you have to have the Hawaiian sea salt. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. That adds okay. a little bit. Did but you hear the, my stomach growling? Because it is. <laughs> but the okay. key is a really fresh ingredients and a really fresh sauce. So you could go ahead and start making the sauce. Okay. We'll show Excellent. you. That's uh, that's the soy sauce. So a little bit of soy. Yeah. Got and it. sesame oil. Mm -hmm. That needs to be really fresh too. Some sesame seeds, and you just mix that up. And both. And is this toasted? Yes. The black sesame yes. seeds. Uh -huh. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So you got a little fresh, a little toasted. Right. And then you uh, pour it over your whatever ingredients that you choose to put in. You got it. Yeah. Oh, nice. So nice and simple and right. easy. And Very I imagine simple. Something yeah. like this probably um, really enhances the flavor profile, right? Mm -hmm. Not really covers it. And you really don't want it to marinate. You want to eat it pretty pretty soon after okay. you prepare it. All right, and then this is what you would pour on your salad. Exactly. Okay, yeah. excellent. It's becoming very popular here in the uh, mainland now. Ooh. Uh, it would be popular with me. I'm going to try it. And, and what do we have right here? This is lao lao. Lao lao is like the soul food of Hawaii. And it's kind of like a barbecue to southerners. Okay. Uh, yes. Got it. So this is a colored leaf, but it's really uh, wrapped in like a taro leaf and a tea leaf. So if you want to go ahead and okay. roll it. Just, so how do I, how, how just, do I roll it? Uh -huh. I'm intimidated. Okay. Yeah. So uh -huh. I tuck it like yes. this. And then just like a burrito. Okay. I do need to work on my rolling yeah. skills. Is this okay? Yeah. And All just right. roll it and then just oh, I would just trim it. And then this would be steamed for several minutes. Oh. Authentically it would be steamed uh, for hours. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. In an underground oven. And you said this is a collard leaf? Yes. But okay. that's that's what we because, have available yes, here. Exactly. Okay, but otherwise yeah. it would be mm -hmm. a taro leaf, you said. Right. Okay. So so we have here some sweet potato. I love sweet potato. Yeah, mm. that's that's instead of the meat and the fish that's usually in the in the lao lao. Okay, so in the lao lao you traditionally would see meat and fish, but like yes. mentioned, we're doing a vegetarian twist. Mm -hmm. So you're doing the sweet potato, which we also have right here in the mm -hmm. bowl. A little bit it's, of coconut yeah. milk. And oh, of course you got to have coconut <laughs> in there. Yes. All right, well you can't have a meal without an amazing tropical beverage, right? Right. right. And most of them contain a lot of sh added sugar mm -hmm. and alcohol. So these are some <laughs> non-alcoholic <laughs> versions. Uh, I have a hibiscus tea and it's Ooh. mixed with it, uh, some fresh fruit and some fresh lime juice, citrus, uh, lemon juice. Uh, you could add any type of fizz, mm -hmm. like any kind of sparkling water to some type of pog juice, which is passion orange guava juice. That's right, the pog juice. Yes. I remember that when I went to Hawaii. So you, and you said, it, what, what's the mix? There's passion, orange, orange and, and guava. guava. Okay. With a little bit and just top it off with some sparkling water. And then you have something light and bubbly and fizzy. It's yeah. Just, uh, also a mango uh, freeze. That's made with a fresh mm -hmm. frozen mango. Okay, so you just take a mango and you puree it and then you freeze it? Is that I, you well, it's actually frozen mango, fresh okay. mango that's frozen, and it's put just through puree. the blender. Yeah, put through the blender with some fresh uh, lime juice, lemon juice, and orange juice. Lime juice, lemon juice, and orange yes, juice, and yes. there you go. Yeah. 
Oh. I put a little pod juice in there too. Okay, just yeah. for a nice little kick in there. Yeah. Okay, what about coconut milk? Could you add? You could. Mm -hmm. That would add. Creamier? Yes, you mm -hmm. could do that too. Mmm, that sounds delightful. And then also you have desserts, which I loved what you've yes. done here with the coconut. Yeah. By the way, you turned it into a bowl. It's an edible bowl. <laughs> now that is my cousin Clifton's recipe. It's his spin on bread pudding. Oh, no so, kidding. Yeah, so I used a Hawaiian sweet bread instead of the white bread. Also some coconut on top. Okay, and you're talking about this dish right here. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. Oh, and, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this. I'm <laughs> so hungry right now. Uh, obviously, you know, you use a lot of tropical fruits in this. The main mm -hmm. one is probably the pineapple. Correct. How do you pick a good pineapple? What's the secret? Okay, so my uncle owned a, a pineapple plantation wow. overnight, and he gave me some tips. Uh, you want to look at the leaf. Okay. The, as you can see on this leaf, it's mm -hmm. a little bit dried out. Yes. Also, look at some of the color. This one's a lot more golden. Okay, uh, I want to hold this up to the camera. And, and definitely the smell. You want to okay. try, if you take a, take a whiff. Oh, wow. That, oh, wow. Yes. And then take That's a, very fragrant. And then try the other one. Okay. Okay, so this is the good pineapple, yes. everybody. See, the leaves look good. They're not brown wrinkled. It smells lovely. The coloring looks good. This one's a little dry. And, oh, it smells a little a little tired. Yeah, a yeah. little musty. Musty, And then you totally. see some brown spots. Okay. And no brown. Yes. This now, is the, the key to, to a fresh pineapple is that it doesn't ripen once you get it because there are no extra reserves of starch. Okay. So once you get it, that's it. So, so what you want to do, when it's ready to eat, this is what my uncle said, turn it upside down when you, when you store it because all the juices We'll hang out oh. at the bottom and then it's going to go all throughout and you'll get a little juicier bite with every wonderful tricks thank you so yes. much everyone have a fantastic day we'll see you mm -hmm. back here tomorrow right here on sack and co so you flip your pineapple upside down yes, yes. okay and then it distributes all the goodness it, it definitely no kidding yes. okay